Oh, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Y'all, some can I, I just need to know. What, can somebody tell me what in the world is going on with Karen Hugo? Okay. First of all, Scott Squad, we are back in the building, baby. Back in the building. Yes, y'all, the vacation is over for now. Okay. And I'm back in the I'm back in the room with the boxes. We still got some unpacking to do, so y'all gonna have to work with me until I get this thing down and get this room painted and all that good stuff like that. It's coming, okay? It's coming. It is coming. What is going on, y'all? Y'all know I missed y'all. You know what I'm saying? We left Norman. Norman is still over in the Italy or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we had to let Norman finish up that good vacation. But I said, Norman, I get to, I got to get back to work, okay? I got to get back to work because I'd have missed my people. And I said, you know what? I was going to wait till tomorrow, you know, to talk about this. But I was like, you know, I was sitting here. At, I was doing some work, right, at my at my computer, and some was just sitting on my spirits. You know what I'm saying? Some was just sitting on my spirits about this whole Karen situation. And I said, let me figure out what the people got to say about it. You know what I'm saying? What, let, what, 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 what we got to say about it? Now, okay, so a little housekeeping before we get into Karen real quick for those who want to know. My vacation, I went to Switzerland first. We went to Geneva. Then we went to Lucerne, then we went to Grindelwald, and then we went to Lucerne. Then we went to Lake Como, Italy, and then we ended in Milan. So I'm still posting on Instagram some stuff from like the course of the vacation. So some people might still think I'm there, but I got back the other night. Yesterday, I was like, let me take some time to like chill, recover, relax, get back into the gym and get back to my other work, right? So anyway, all those videos that, you know, because of course I had to do the travel vlogs. I record it every day. So you guys will be able to see that if you go on over to my personal channel, Richie Sky in Real Life, or that's Richie in Real Life. I already got a link in the description of this video. So you can go to that channel right now and check out my previous travel vlogs, but that will be up there on that channel a little later. Um, try to get up, get that out at least one a day for the next two weeks, right? Boom. So let's get back to it. So I'll be able to tell y'all all about each place that I went to. You can get all of that over there because I know people will come to this channel specifically, specifically for the tea. Okay. So we'll make sure to keep all the travel talk over there, but I might sprinkle in a little bit as I choose. Since we live, we kind of do what we want to do, right? All right, so let's get into the Karen of it all, right? Let's get into the Karen of it all. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it real quick. Let me pull up. Let me pull it on up now because this to me, see, now I had read about this over the break. And y'all know I did like maybe two videos during my downtime, but there was mostly about Nini and Portia because I felt like I could really chime in on those topics and really do so from a place of like, you know, grown experience, you know what I'm saying? And industry experience as well. And just sort of things that I would not advise one to do if one is, you know, rebuilding and rebranding in the entertainment industry, specifically in the acting space. So when I saw this about Karen, I, it wasn't really in my mind to rush to the internet and do a video on it because it really, to me, it was not any good news. You know what I'm saying? The news with Nene and Portia, it won't like it was good news, but it won't like arrested DUI news. You know what I'm saying? So I really was not in a rush to do it. Contrary to popular belief, y'all, I really hate doing stories like this. I really hate having to talk about things like this because 
Y'all know I don't be wishing these types of things on nobody. For real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. You know, but when it's in the news and it's the people on the shows that we watch, of course, we got to talk about it, right? And in this case, okay, this is one of those situations that's completely unnecessary, okay? Unnecessary for somebody, okay? who is as seasoned as Karen is. Now, accidents can happen, absolutely. Abs acc accidents happen all the time, er, day, day after day after day after day. But it be a complete different thing when you is behind the wheel and there is some drinking involved in this day and age. Now, now, as much as we like that good kern, we got to really have a real conversation about it because we got to be real about it. Okay. We got to be real about it. So let's let's get into let's let's stage dive into this. Now, I know some of you guys may already know some of these details, but you know, we ain't had a minute to really review these details together. You know what I'm saying? Together. So let's talk about it. And shout out to our friends over at Queens of Bravo for the visuals. All right. Now, this is courtesy of TMZ. Let's read what they were saying. Now, they say Karen was a swaying and a swerving, I added in the swerving, and had a strong odor of alcohol on her breath following her frightening crash on Tuesday night in Potomac. Now, this is according to a police report. Now, my first thought is, girl, this happened around the corner from your house. I mean, you was you if you was in Potomac, you was close to home. So you was close enough to have hired a driver, called the Uber Black, called the Lyft. I don't know if they got the Alto or the Altoid or whatever it is here. Y'all heard of Alto or something like that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now I don't know, Margo, if you was if you was meaning this for me, okay? But I'm glad you mentioned this. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. You know, I sometimes I can't tell if the comment is meant to be messy to me or not. But sometimes when y'all, if if it is, and I maybe I'm misreading this, so I'm gonna give you a minute, Margo. Uber runs everywhere, Margo. Yes, yes, it does. You know why I know? Because I've gotten Ubers from, from Potomac. I have friends who live in Potomac. So I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came to the table. Okay. Oh, this one for me? Okay, cool. All right. Oh, well, well, I'm gonna let it go then. But the reason I was about to get into this is because I too have had a situation where when I was younger. I left a friend's house having drank the too much, right? Late at night when I should have just stayed my butt there. But I was, you know how you be wanting to get into your own bed. And there I was, okay? Yeah, many, many years ago. There I was. I had made it a block from the heist. And bam. Fell asleep. And bam, hit somebody car. And so I know of which I speak. Okay. So I'm not coming from a place of, ooh, let me come in and judge somebody. When I give y'all my perspective on these things, I'm usually coming from a place of experience, whether you think so or not. Okay, this ain't just meant for Margot. Okay, because she she clarified. Okay, but what I'm saying is this: 
when I when I speak on a subject like this, we talking and 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 remember, I'm talking to to we we haven't grown folks conversation. That is who I've determined that that is who my channel is for. Is for the grown folks in the room, okay? It's for the grown folks in the room, and it is very true, Tyra. A lot of accidents happen close to home. All right, now, okay, because you, you you already know, you already know, the sermon is is this close, is this is this close. So what I'm saying is, with that logic in my head, she was close to the heist. Now I don't know where she was traveling from. So that could that that could be a question at hand. But the fact of the matter is, it was in Potomac where she where she resides. Okay. So let's get in. Let's continue on because I just wanted to point that out. Now, according to the report obtained by the TMZ, the officers noted that the Real Housewives of Potomac cast member also had the slurred speech, the bloodshot eyes when they arrived on the scene. And they say she didn't answer when cops asked her twice how much she had to drink. Now, I'm going to put allegedly up here because I don't know if what I'm saying is the absolute truth. But I have heard that you can also decline all of the tests and things like that. Right. So. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm assuming maybe she was doing the things that was maybe to protect herself legally. I don't really know. It don't really matter because at the end of the day, she was still arrested and it's still a story. OK. So anyway, the officers noted that she had two closed bottles of the alcoholic beverage Stella inside her vehicle. This was the part of the story that I think almost got um, this. I, this was the part that took me over a little bit. It did. I mean. I'm mad about uh, uh, um, about most of it, but it, it it was the Stella Rosa of it all for me. It was the Stella Rosa of it all for me. Okay, and hold up, who said that? Is this KS KS? Is you talking to me, or you talking to somebody else? Who who is you? Is you watching the timer on your oven, or you watching the timer on the clock up here? Because this ain't twelve thirty one for me, and I'm gonna take as long as I need to. Guess why? Because it's my channel. Okay. It's mines, okay? Now, when you're baking your cakes, you can control the time over there on the on your timer, on your egg timer. When you timing them eggs, when you making them, when you when you frying them eggs, and when you boiling them eggs, you know what I'm saying? Use the time then, okay? Because you will not time me, okay? I'm not on your time. I'm on God's time, and so I will talk when I want to talk, and as long as I want to talk for. If you came to the YouTube expecting me to dance in this jamboree, good, then go do that. If you want drive by news, go to the TikTok. If you want drive by news, go to the Vine. Go someplace else, but stop timing me. As I was saying, the Stella Rose of it all. Now, in my mind. I ain't ever no excuse to get no D to the U to the I, right? Because, again, Lord knows, I, I really can't judge because I, I I got friends with DUIs. I didn't have my own little accident, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger. But I feel like, if I mean, if you go off the Stella, after Stella Rosa, off the Stella, you might, she might as well have had two bottles of Arbor Mist up in that car, okay? Two bottles of Arbor Mist. Actually, why not just have two bottles of Wycliffe? Y'all know I hate the Wycliffe, okay? Um, two bottles of the Wycliffe. Now that now, now then I would understand because you your my your head, my, my head might be banging banging like a sledgehammer, okay? And it might disturb my driving. I don't know. But what I'm saying, it was the Stella Rosa of it all. Girl, you had the Stella. You, it wasn't 1942 on the Casamigos. It was not the Henny. It was not the hookah and the Henny. It was the Stella. Girl, not the Stella Rosa. Not the Stella Rosa that made you swerve. Not not, not swerve delicious off the Stella Rosa. No, 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 no. Not you having the evidence in the car, okay? Not you got the evidence in the front seat. Ma'am, she must have been real emotional. I mean, because, girl, you ain't even want to get rid of the bottles. Lord have mercy. 
Let's continue on. The report also adds that while cops thought Karen appeared to be intoxicated, she declined to undergo a field sobriety test or a breathalyzer, which you have the right to do. OK. But I mean, I, and again, legally, I don't know what a lawyer would say. Now, I got a feeling I know what a lawyer would say. And I feel like the lawyer would have said probably to, to decline it. But, you know, whatever the case. Anyway, it says fire and rescue, which also responded to the scene, tried to get her to sit on a stretcher. But the report says she refused both the stretcher and any medical care. <sighs> Clearly, she OK, because she got some statements to make, which for which we are thankful for. OK, now, again, y'all know I, don't, I hate reporting on stories like this because they just disturbs my spirit, you know. Anyway, it says, according to officers, Karen also made it clear she did not wish to be recorded. What? what? This ain't this ain't Real Housewives of Potomac, babe. This is the, this is the police cam footage. What you don't record me? I mean, what? No, girl, you want them to keep that camera on, okay? For you, for 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 you. Anyway, um. When officers told her she was on their body cam, that's when she said she didn't want to be recorded. Let's get into her statement. All right. So she tells the TMZ, and I'm sure you've all seen this statement, but you ain't seen it with me. Okay. She says, thank you all for your prayers and well wishes during this frightening experience. Oh, yes. I am still in shock from last night's incident, but grateful to be alive today. We are happy she's alive indeed. Okay. With the passing of my beloved mother, grief comes and goes in waves. And with Mother's Day approaching, it felt more like a tsunami. Now, I personally cannot augur with how someone says that they feel. But, um, I have to throw in some question marks here um you know mother's day i think is about a month away no um and again i cannot police how someone approaches grief but it just seemed a little odd to throw that in the mix no, I mean, maybe the time change would have been more appropriate, you know, because that does stress people out. Again, you know, I, it's hard for me to argue with the fact that she's, you know, talking about her beloved mother. But I felt like to throw the beloved mother in there, just uh, to be real about it, it's a little bit of chaos and confusion to me because, again, Mother's Day is in two is is about a month and a half away. But again, grief comes in waves. She's technically right, but it seems a little it's on brand for Karen. Okay. Um uh, it is really on brand for Karen. I love Karen, as y'all know. But that to me, I was like, no ma'am. I don't think we should use that as an excuse because the fact of the matter is you can grieve without the Stella Rosa. Okay? Meanwhile, she says, last night I met a girlfriend for dinner. We talked and brought up some very emotional, sensitive topics I was crying on my way home, saw a car headed right for me. I swerved to avoid the head-on collision, hit the divider, and then a tree. I'm hurt, bruised up a bit, but so grateful I am alive. I did receive citations, one of which was unrelated to the incident, which is understandable. But what was most surprising is that the car almost hit me, just drove away. Also, ma'am... Are we going to get to these bottles of Stella Rosa or the fact that they say that you had the smell of alcohol emanating from your breath? 
Like, I feel like we're, you're still not addressing the Stella Rosa of it all. The, the, I mean, the, you're not addressing the, the Auburn mist in the seat. Okay? We're not addressing that. So until we address a little bit of that, like all of this is sounding, it's 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 sounding like you're talking around it, and it would have almost been better for you to say nothing, versus saying any of this. No. <sighs> Continuing on. She finishes by saying, I would like to stress, it's important to understand your emotional state when driving, and this may be a reminder to, to all to use their seatbelts. My mother may be my guardian angel, but the seatbelt saved my life. And the Stella Rosa almost took it. I mean, again, we are thankful that Karen is okay, because at the end of the day, I mean, you know, thank God, right? Um, but at the also at the end of the day, there is no mention of again. So don't say nothing if we're not going to address the real elephant in the room. And this is where I feel like we got to have a serious conversation with Karen. Right. Karen, we love you. But Karen, we also need to address the Stella Rosa and the Arbor Mist of it all. If we're not going to address the Stella Rosa or the Arbor Mist or the Wyclef or the ENJ or the Hypnotic or the, I mean, the absolute, if we're not, I mean, any, if we're not going to address any of these things, then it's probably best not to say anything. And I can't even, I, and I cannot think that a lawyer would say to you, oh my God, Karen, yes, that sounds like a great statement to make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put it out right now. ASAPidly. Yes, go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, I don't think anyone would say that. I. I used to work in PR. I would not have advised you to say any of that. I would have advised you to say nothing. Okay, Nathan, not a fan. No, no thing. Not one. Anything. Nada. Okay. Um. And that's my take on it. You know, we love the Karen Huger, but we got to be real about it. Um, at the end of the day, hire a driver. When when it's when it's when there's gonna be some drinking involved, this is a message for all of us. Hire a driver, and I don't care what service you use. Okay, I don't care if you have to call a rickshaw. If I, if, if you have got to call, I don't care who who who. Call Ineka. She lived down the street up in North Potomac or something. Some call somebody else. Okay. Anyway, y'all, that's that's what's going on with Kern. Um, we back. We back. <laughs> um, but but anyway, for real, for real, Karen. Best wishes to you. We we want the best for you. Please just stay off the road, girl. Um, and leave the Stella Rosa alone. Leave it alone. Leave it at the stove. Leave it on the shelf. Leave it at the... I mean, just don't even pick it up no more, okay? Um, throw it out the window. Um, not when the... Preferably not when the police are there, but just don't drink it, okay? Um, anyway, so with that being said, um, y'all know... We back in action, and of course, we will be recapping the Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, I did. Oh, I did also see the reunion trailer. I saw the reunion looks. I like the black. I uh, I knew about the black. Um, my girl Riley Knox did Ashley's dress, which looked phenomenal. I think all the ladies look good this year. Black, you can never go wrong with black. So I feel like this was a great way for the ladies to end the season. I mean, the season, I didn't really like it much, but the reunion trailer to me, I really don't have many thoughts on that either because I kind of didn't see any bit of resolve in the situations that we really needed to see resolve from. So I just kind of think that 
you know, it's going to be probably more of the same. And the bad thing about it was even Andy looked tired of, of the same um, uh, typical, you know, low basic drama that has been permeating throughout this season. I felt like even he was tired. Okay. So at the end of the day, um, yeah, that's all we got. So hopefully this finale episode will give us some more insight into the altercation of it all because I did see the ending of the last episode and all they all they showed was some sound waves. And I'm like, y'all could have used the footage that we saw on, on somebody's phone, you know, because it's it's out there. We've we've seen the fight, so you might as well have shown it to us. I mean, putting that sound wave up there, I mean, who are you protecting? We'd have seen any worse. Well, I mean, I don't know, but I'm just, mm -mm. that sound wave ain't do. I mean, who, who, <laughs> we might as well see it. So anyway, um, with that being said, that's all we got for y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. No Stella Rosa in the, in the driving. All right. Be safe. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Okay. So, Desiree Davenport, what are you hoping to accomplish with this show? Honestly, I've lost everything in the most horrible way possible. And listen, I want it all back. I'm willing to build it piece by piece, and I mean brick by brick. Oh, honey, she is done. I bet you a burke and she has not last all season with us. Just watch. I'm Misha Hill, and I'd like to consider myself the matriarch of this dynamic group of ladies. I mean, someone has to keep them under control. I'm Davida Delaney. I mean, I think I could teach these ladies a thing or two about how to get and keep a good man. They said she was a gold digger. She ain't good for me. I'm just really looking forward to being surrounded by other empowering bosses. Yes, I know exactly what she's doing. And if she keep playing in my face, I'm going to have to let out all her dirty little secrets just like she did to me. And I'm not playing. Let's get this straight. If I brought you into this circle, I just as easily can take you out. She ain't running nothing over here, okay? She needs to be worried about running that household and worried about why that husband of hers is never at home. Oh, hell. Ooh, child, this is about to be a mess. Oh, my God. I hate mess. What in the world did I get myself into?